Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, it just dawned on me today that I'm gonna have to start preparing for these videos. Never mind my dogs. <clears throat> oh, they want to be hyper in the background. Interesting. Hi, Brant. He's like so old and decrepit. He's about to knock my camera over. Okay, go away. Sorry, guys. Okay, and I'm not editing these, so sorry you had to sit through this. It dawned on me today that I'm probably gonna have to start preparing for these videos because when I first, so I made this pack that I would make a video every day just to hold myself accountable. Woo! It's been two weeks since I have drank. Y'all, that is a giant accomplishment for me. Um, two weeks solid. Today is day 14. I am so freaking proud of myself. Anyway, I just had to shout. But I started doing these because I really didn't want to go to like AA because I didn't feel like I didn't feel like I had a drinking problem in the sense where, like, I was going to get sick if I didn't drink. Um, it was more just, it was, honestly, it was mostly out of, like, habit and, um, habit and habit, boredom, and then, like, kind of just numbing things that, like, I didn't want to process. And as you see, I have, like, some piles of junk going on because I've, now that I've not been drinking, I have tons of free time. So I'm downsizing. I'm just going through like all, God, I have so much junk from college that I realized like, I am never going to look at this. I'm never going to use this. Pounds and pounds and pounds of calculus stuff that I have a calculator that does it now and programs and also the internet. So I don't really think, I kept my textbooks just because sometimes I do have like certain things marked in my books, but Anyway, so that's what that is. I'm gonna, those are a bunch of books that I don't even know where a lot of those books came from. Um, I'm going to take those to Goodwill and then that stuff. I forget what that stuff is. Anyway, so, um, but anyway, so I'm doing a video every day to number one, hold myself accountable and number two, to document my progress so that I can, you know, in a year, I want to see, yeah, Tate's being really cute. In a year, he's like, who are you talking to? Oh, you're talking to yourself. So he FaceTimes with people, you guys, and what he's trying to figure out, he's so smart. He was trying to figure out why I was on the screen because I have my screen facing me. And so he saw me talking to myself and he was like, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, um, dogs are funny. So he's using my yoga mat as a bed. Oh, well. so um, anyway, I wanted to document my progress and then also um, I wanted to have... Um, I mean, yeah, and I wanted to hold myself accountable. So it's sort of like sometimes I get tempted in the evenings because that was like the time period that I was I would always go to bars with friends and have a beer. So if you notice, I post my videos in the evening. So this is when I sort of get tempted to go have a beer just to be social because I'm kind of bored. And so this is giving me something to do during that time period um, that I enjoy doing. Um, even though I'm not getting a ton of views and I'm just kind of rambling on about nothing, I do want to start putting a little bit more work into these videos. Um, at first, it was such a such a challenge just to even get on here and talk because I was so um, nervous to talk in front of the camera. And just even after two weeks, my fear is completely gone um, after two weeks. But now, and I, I had so much to talk about when I started two weeks ago that I was like, God, I can just talk forever. Cause I'm, if you guys know me in person, you know that I talk a lot and I'm um, very rarely do I have nothing to say. If usually if I'm don't, if I'm usually if I'm quiet, I'm either deep in thought or gosh, dang it. Sorry. I'm, I have a hair appointment next week. I think. Um, but I usually, um, if I'm not talking, I usually have something wrong with me or, um, yeah, or I'm deep in thought. So when I first started these, I was like, I'll be able to talk forever. I'm never going to run out of stuff to, to say. But after two weeks, um, I actually am running out of things to say. So I'm going to start preparing these videos. I'll probably have to set out. Um, please leave me a comment and tell me what you want. Okay, actually, I know what my first video is going to be. Is going to be, um, do I believe that you can be spiritual with like DMT, mushrooms, molly, and all that kind of stuff. And you'll probably be surprised by my answer. So if you have any other suggestions for videos that you guys, I love researching. So if there's something that you want to know about that you haven't seen a video for, or you have seen a video for, you didn't really agree with it. You want to see a different perspective or whatever it is. Leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see. Um, 
because I'm kind of running out of ideas on what to do videos on. Like I said, I was just kind of going on here and talking. Um, one thing that I want to research is since I had my spiritual awakening, this is very strange and I'm going to be super vulnerable by even telling you guys this, but when I was a little kid, um, and I'm talking like elementary school, I was so afraid of two things under the bed and in the closet. I don't know why, but were you ever, when you were a little kid, um, did you feel like I had, I felt like when I got out of bed, I had to like jump like three feet away from my bed because I always felt like there was something under my bed that was going to grab me. And, and then I also felt like what that same like energy that I had, that fear, it also was like in the closet and I hated the closet door to be like cracked. It had to be shut all the way. Well, literally in the last two weeks since I had my spiritual awakening, for some reason I've been like so freaking scared of the dark and specifically afraid of my, under my bed and um, in the closet. <clears throat> and last night, this is so stupid, but last night I had to pee so bad and I like jumped out of my bed like a freaking seven year old and ran as fast as I could to my bathroom, left all the lights on in the hallway, probably wasted tons of electricity and then ran and like dove back into my bed, had to like leap because I didn't want to jump under like over the, I didn't want to jump close enough to like underneath my bed. What the hell is that shit? I'm in my forties. Why am I all of a sudden afraid of the dark again? And it's these things that I was afraid of when I was a kid. So I definitely want to do a video on that, um, exploring why is a fear that I haven't had in over 30 years back and what causes that. And it's only at nighttime. Like I can be in my room and messing with the closet and under the bed all day long doesn't do anything. But as soon as it's dark out, I get triggered by something. So I don't know what that's all about. If you know, please let me know. I want to do more research on it. So future videos will include, um, a, uh, drug video, afraid of the dark video after spiritual awakening, afraid of the dark after spiritual awakening. Um, and that's really all I have for right now. Um, Gosh, anyway, um, I wish I could think of something else to talk about. I'm, I worked, I made my pitch deck today. Okay, another thing that I want to do videos on is um, freaking business terminology. The business videos that are on YouTube suck. So I've had to learn a lot of like venture capitalists, joint, joint venture, VCs, JV, um, partnerships, um, all these things. So if you look these words up, you're going to find um, the definitions just use more words that you don't know what they mean. Or they'll use words, but they're so vague. I'm like, I need to see this like in a movie or an example. And so I've been learning about these things just from talking to people and um, asking questions and being very vulnerable, to be quite honest. Um, but and I'm still, I mean, I know what they mean, but I still like sometimes get anyway i want to start doing videos um that explain in layman's terms um business words so you can go get funding funding that's another one you can get people to invest in your company um without having to have a business degree and you can um also be able to follow along in a conversation um, without having to look everything up in a freaking dictionary or online or watch a YouTube video because the YouTube videos that are out there, there's some good ones. Like I really like, um, Valuetainment. He has some really good ones, but they're still, um, a little bit more advanced. And then also like another big thing is they're all like kind of geared around, um, a product, like you invented something or you have some tech, which I might, um, I'm thinking about some apps, uh, app ideas, but Right now, it's more of a service, and it's really hard to find um, like a way to ge develop a business model, another one, business model. That took me like three months of research to grasp that concept, and it's so ridiculously easy. I can't believe how complicated they made it. It makes me so frustrated when ex experts do this. They do the same thing with engineering. They'll like give you like an entire day of training when they're really trying to say, add those two things together. like. 
you guys that have to make it that freaking hard. Let's simplify things. That's why nothing's getting done because it's so hard. Nobody knows what the hell you're talking about. So I am so anti that mentality. I like things to be so simple. Um, somebody said, I forget who said this. I, I can't remember who said it. It might've been Ralph Smart in a video I was watching um, that simplicity is complex. And I, what that means is you have to understand something so good or so well that you're able to explain it to, and Einstein also said this too, if you can't explain it to a kid, then you don't understand it yourself. And so if somebody's just giving you all of these um, super complicated definitions and they didn't explain anything to you or you need a degree to understand it, they probably don't really fully understand it either. So um, that's just something that, so, so I'm going to do like a business series of videos um, and then I'll keep doing my spiritual videos. Oh, and some meditation videos as well. Um, but anyway, for now, it's just me rambling about nonsense and keeping myself accountable. Um, but I think I'm going to start preparing for these a little bit more work on my lighting and my setup and all that good stuff. I think um, it's it's a fun hobby. It doesn't take that long. And if it can generate an income, why not? You know what I mean? I think I got the hardest part out of the way, which was just getting on here and talking. So anyway, um, again, leave a comment of something that you want to learn about. I love researching. I'm really good at it. So if you want me to learn about something and do a video on it, then let me know. Give this video a thumbs up, share it, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.